Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 10th of February 2014, the Friday is almost 9pm. And uh, this video is about, well, you have guessed it, in front of you is the Final Fantasy number 8. Uh, particularly on the song by Fei Wong called Eyes on Me. Look, oops, uh, there's nothing to do with Eyes on Me but it's quite a nice picture. So Final Fantasy VIII, I did not play this game. The only Final Fantasy game that I've uh, completed was Final Fantasy VII. And I played it on the PC about maybe 20 years ago. And well, it still is, I mean, in my mind, in my mind, it's still the best Final Fantasy because I haven't played any of the other Final Fantasy. When it comes to this Final Fantasy VIII, I played only a couple, only I think one-tenth of it, one-tenth of the, the whole saga. And I just abandoned it. I think I played it on the PC as well. So uh, it did not sustain my interest, so I just didn't like uh, play it. But uh, the song is absolutely gorgeous. Same as Melodies of Light. So Final Fantasy VIII is a role-playing video game released for the PlayStation in 1999. And blah blah blah. So uh, there was this music that is so awesome that I just need need to like uh, do this uh, video <coughs> it is different from Final Fantasy 7 uh, Final Fantasy 8 uses uh, proportions that are correct when the, the characters are moving and you can see that from here <coughs> whereas the ones in Final Fantasy 7 when the, the characters are moving in the world they look like super deformed versions of, uh, of the characters so there's a bit of a difference so what is this song? Eyes on Me is a pop ballad, ba ballad performed by Chinese singer Fei Wong as a love theme for the video game Final Fantasy VIII. The music was composed by Nobuo Uematsu. Of course, uh, this composer is always uh, like say tied to the Final Fantasy franchise with English lyrics by Kako Someya. So the rest, blah blah blah, and then nothing much else. The lyrics written in imperfect English unveil the hopes of a nightclub singer for romance with a member of her audience. I kind of like it your way, how you shyly place your eyes on me. Okay. Kind. I kind of like it your way, how you shyly place your eyes on me. Oh, did you ever know? That I had mine on you. Within the Final Fantasy VIII, the song is written by Julia Hartley, a pianist who is a love interest of Laguna Lawyer. So blah 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 blah. And uh, other s interesting stuff here is a uh, oh, there's a foreign language version of the song was covered by the singer Maybe. Ooh, okay, I'll go look for that one. Okay, I've done my homework already. So the, there is a Japanese version of the song. I never heard of it before, and uh, this is sang by Yuji, uh, sang by Manami Kiyota, and I think uh, arranged by Yuji Hasegawa. I think for the lyrics that is, or was it something else? No, no, no. The Japanese lyrics by Kazushige Nojima. So this one is a pretty lovely Japanese version of the song. So check it out. I'll of course leave the link in the about section below. And this one is by the Korean girl by the name of Maybe. Maybe she will fuck me, maybe she will not fuck me. But she looks absolutely gorgeous here. And there's another version uh, by Angela Aki. Eyes on me, the English version. You can see the concert here. And uh, she does it with a type of a jazz, jazz feel to it. So it's very different from the version sang by Fei Wong. Which uh, if you do not know what she looks like, then she looks like this one here. No, no, not that one. Shit. Uh, no, no, this one is too young. Uh, okay. Uh, the right one. Uh, hopefully, yes, yes. Non-nude, please. Non-nude. Yep, that's Fei Wong. Uh, looking very like a elf, and uh, oh, thank God it's not nude. Uh, looking like an elf, and uh, well, if sh you put in some elf ears there, she definitely she will uh, fit into the elf kingdom of uh, Lord of Rings or wherever they are from. Who cares? So next up. So Angela Aki does a type of uh, blues version of it and it was not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. So let's go into the pictures, ooh nice, uh, nothing to do with Phantom Final Fantasy 8 is it? 
Final Fantasy 8 but nice ass. It is a realistic type of ass. You find these in normal women and they are just delicious. So this is one of the characters in Final Fantasy 8. I do not know but she looks kind of sexy with the, this type of hairstyle. I don't know why. She must have used quite a lot of uh, uh, sperm as hairspray. Must have been spending a lot of time with Van Stiller. Uh, if you remember the something about Mary scene. Oh, uh, this one has nothing to do with uh, Final Fantasy VIII as well. This is Final Fantasy Se Final Fantasy Seven. I always had a had a, had a thing with uh, Tifa Lockhart here. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because of the strap on, uh, not the sexual strap tra sexual strap on with that penis or plastic penis. Uh, I don't know what you call this thing. This is something like a belt. It's in place of a belt. Instead of using a belt around the waist, they use this one to hold up their pants. And uh, yeah, something about girls with uh, big gloves, uh, and uh, those gloves can be used to punch me. And I like to be like hurt by girls. It makes me scream and come and whatever. And also, I like the white singlet that she wears, uh, tank top that is, and uh, very very sexy. And this one is a nice picture, very nice indeed. Although there could be something could be done for the nose. Uh, nose is uh, well, it could be done better. But I like the whole picture overall, and she has a very big mess of a hair, very very big hair, something reminiscent of the 1980s hairspray. So this is a super deformed uh, version of the 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 characters. I think this one here is Squall Squall Leon Hart, and uh, the weapon that he's carrying is uh, is an iconic weapon of the Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, it's called a gun blade. <coughs> so this one here is another character of Final Fantasy VIII. I don't know why. I think this one is the teacher, right? And she is damn sexy. I don't know why. Out, out, out of all the characters, she is the sexiest to me. With the specs and the long hair. Oh my god. Mm. And these are the characters in this uh, Final Fantasy VIII. If I'm not mistaken, this fella here, this one in the purple witch-like uh, face, that's the bad guy, I think. And the rest. I think I prefer the picture. I prefer this picture compared to this one here. This one with the specs is so sexy. I just love it when there's a librarian who is pretty with specs, and that's a very nice scenario to uh, to unleash your fantasies on. So these are the characters of uh, the Final Fantasy VIII. All of them are like but naked, uh, without shirt, and of course I would prefer this librarian-like girl here to have specs. I think she's the teacher of the that whatever place they they in inhabit or something I'm not sure. This one is a nice cosplayer of that uh, the hero heroine sorry heroine. Of course, a uh, sexy sexy this one. Mm, this is the heroine. Mm, these are the some of the characters of uh, the Final Fantasy universe. Of course, my favorite is uh, Tifa Lockhart, especially with a tank top and she has a very big personality very big personality and it's so sexy to have those gloves to punch me in the nuts and stomach and whatnot just to inflict sadomasochistic pain on me and I just like her mini skirt here and also the boots that she's wearing it's very sexy the boots very big and nice I don't know why I don't know why the girls with big boot big big boots okay not big boobs big boots with a T okay big boots they are quite sexy. Of course, uh, girls with big boobs are sexy as well. Boobs. Ooh, speaking of speaking of boobs, this one has a nice uh, personality. Definitely nice. And this one is, uh, I think her name is Yuki. Uh, Yuki. Uh, she is a prominent cosplayer in Japan. I think her name starts with an F. Sorry, fuck. No, 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 not with an F. Not with an F. I was thinking of the word fuck. Her name begins with the letter F, what, not F again, Y. So I think her name is Yuki or something like that. There was a controversy involving her because uh, the pictures that you see is very pretty, right? This girl, like an elf, you would like to do all types of strange things to her in the confines of a bedroom and uh, yeah, definitely. But that, uh, but apparently the the photos uh, that we are used to like say uh, stroking our cock too or caning our pipes too or well uh, yanking the monkey too uh, apparently those pictures were actually like photoshopped until it looks so something like this one very very pretty but in actual fact that she looks not like this at all I don't know whether it's true or not but uh, I, I 
who knows this is the world of internet anything can happen of course uh, this is nothing to do with final fantasy 8 but this is final fantasy 7 and i never knew that tifa lockhart likes white panties that's a plus point for me nice oh uh, okay this one is the yeah this one is something to do with final fantasy 8 definitely this is a good cosplay especially just with this uh, singlet very nice very nice to be indeed and uh, more final fantasy 7 hmm strange but I like this one, this graphics here uh, that portrays Tifa Lockhart, she looks gorgeous. Uh, enough for Final Fantasy 7, oh! Final Fantasy 7 again, okay. This one is the girl who died, okay. Spoiler alert, S just in case you've been living under a rock for like say 20 or 30 years, this girl dies, the flower girl dies because of Sephiroth's long, long sword. And I'm not talking about Sephiroth's cock, okay. I'm talking about his long kata katana that's fucking long man so i like this girl she looks very pretty indeed her uh, nose is uh, quite prominent quite big but uh, very pretty overall and this one ooh, this one is not coming out come on come out come out this girl here i like uh, her face uh, nice nose nose is a bit big yeah but the the hair here is a bit dodgy it's like uh, again like a scene from the something about mary Ben Stiller has been, well, well, has been doing the machine gun and uh, or cocking the shotgun and splat all over her hair and uh, that's what happens. So this picture is not coming out, unfortunately. Of course, I'm downloading stuff. Let's see, let's pause the epic battle cry video and uh, take a looky looky and see whether this one will come out or not. Of course, this is a cosplay of, uh, flower of the flower girl in... Final Fantasy 7 and I'm not gonna wait for it. Fuck it. Uh. Fuck! Uh. God damn it. Wasted. Ah, uh, whatever. So, <coughs> so again, if you want to hear the songs or the versions of this song from uh, Fei Wong, Eyes on Me, then you can download the MP3. So the the first couple of videos here involves uh, Fei Wong singing Eyes on Me. Eyes on Me is only in English. Uh, I mean the Fei Wong's uh, version is in English, all of them. There's not, not Chinese or anything. I think there was a Cantonese version but I could not find it. Damn, can't find it. And also there's some uh, videos about the, the videos uh, using the song but you get to see the visuals from the game itself so it's pretty nice. Go check that out. So there were a couple, quite a lot. And this one, this video is, uh, it has the lyrics so you can sing to it. So I'm w as usual, I'm gonna include it in the about section, a link. And this one here is the instrumental version of the song. So you won't hear uh, Fei Wong's beautiful pixie-like voice. So you can actually sing to it you to your pleasure. And this one is some cover. So this is a block. A Caucasian guy who's singing and also playing the song. It's alright. It's not bad. Not bad indeed. And this one is also another bloke, uh, most likely Asian, playing the piano and also uh, doing the the what singing. So this one here is this is a girl. I think she's Thai and she's quite not bad looking. Very nice actually. I wouldn't mind. You know what you know what I mean. You know what I mean okay so uh when i say you know what i mean i'm just uh, trying to emulate something which is uh, this one here uh, let's go to something this is a very hilarious channel that i'm gonna introduce you to yep introduce you to uh what the fuck is it called bad lip reading ah bad lip reading is uh, not bad not bad at all so it's quite funny and uh, you should watch this one here. This parodies the the characters of uh, Game of Thrones. So Media Land, Fun Time World, extended version and also bonus ex and extended scenes and you would hear the 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 principal king, the the young king, a boy king, uh, Joffrey, the asshole uh, saying, "You know what I mean?" It's so funny, that's why I always emulate that scene. So do check out this bad lip reading. They have a couple of uh, videos that are downright hilarious. And they also spoof The Walking Dead as well. So check them out. 
So that's about that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to listen to this uh, pretty girl. And she also did a cover of uh, Melodies of Life. So check that one out as well. So another one besides this one here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this one here is another cover by this uh, girl by the name of Hoa Maria. Since she has the Maria name, I'm presuming she's from the Philippines. She has the Asian face, uh, most likely about uh, Oriental descent. Very cute indeed. Uh, and uh, since her name is Maria, it's something to do, something to do with Christianity. And you know, Philippines are the Philippine people are kind of like uh, devout towards the Christian religion. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, she she did a very good cover of this Eyes on Me. And uh, this one here would be another cover. Uh, the quality of the music, I mean, the quality of the sound is not so good. I guess she uh, should know that if she wants to like uh, sing uh, in front of the camera, try to turn off the the air conditioning at the back because you can hear it humming. But uh, just check out this uh, video because this girl here sure looks quite uh, good looking. Uh, yeah, good looking indeed. So uh, that's my coverage of this Eyes on Me. I just love this song. Uh, if you let me, you if you like, uh, ask me to choose choose which one is better. If it's a versus type of game, uh, whether I will choose Eyes on Me by Fei Wong or the other one Melodies of Life, which one will I choose? Which one do I favor more? One one uh, the song Eyes on Me is more on the love type of uh, song, you know. And the melodies of life is more on the beauty of 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 living and of life in general. I think I would go for in terms not in terms of uh, the meaning of the song, but in terms of the melody and which one I would prefer to sing to. I think I would choose melody of li melodies of life. Melodies of life is a much nicer song to sing to, and it has uh, a better rhythm and melody to it don't get me wrong eyes on me is a very good song uh i back in the 1990s or 2000s or whatever i think in the 2000s yeah back in the 2000s uh this song is very popular and i sang to it uh to the chagrin and and layman of my friends and also uh i think i prefer melodies of life uh, more than eyes on me so thank you for listening to my jibber jabber and my bullshit this has been a podcast this is uh, 6967FM, or known as uh, Look Out Look Chat, or uh, Penis Penis, or Fucking Cantonese. So, see you in Malaysia, or wherever you're from. Bye-bye.